Hello friends and welcome to Lokalama YouTube channel. Today you're in for a treat <laughs> because it would be another knitting episode but this episode would be filled with finished objects. I have quite a bit finished objects uh, since I saw you last and today I really would like to share all of them with you and also I will talk about my VIPs because some of them are new and some of them old ones that were hibernated and now I brought them back to life and working on them and I would like to share them with you and then I had one yarn inquiry accidentally yesterday because I thought this time you won't see new yarn in my episode but you will see one yarn inquiry and in the end i would like to show my progress on my spinning because i remember before i started spinning when i would watch knitting videos and person would start talking about spinning and i said oh it's boring i don't want to watch it so i would just like you know uh forward it because i didn't know at that time how much fun it is to do to spin yarn but now I know, but maybe some of you don't. <laughs> That's why I will do that piece right in the end of this video. So let's go and start with finished objects. Let's jump into section with my finished objects. But before we start doing that, I would like to recommend you uh, one of the sock yarn. So I have socks that I knitted out of this. And this yarn, it's a superb vintage by Rika Design. It's four ply yarn, it's 100 grams, it's 75% virgin wool and 25% polyamide. And it's like 100 grams here and 420 meters. So like when you read description, kind of like nothing special about this yarn, but, and it looks like just like a regular sock yarn, but maybe just a bit squishier. But what I wanna say, like I knitted these socks already quite a while ago and I'm wearing them a lot. And even after a lot of wear, after a lot of washing, I wash them in the washing machine and yarn is still um, nice and squishy. And there are basically no signs of wear on these socks. So I specifically didn't shave them, didn't clean them for a few washings, just because I want wanted to show you how they, they look and <clears throat> they're very comfortable on my feet like when I wear them like it feels like food is warm it doesn't sweat I don't know just love this yarn so much and I just bought like uh, four balls three balls of this green colorway and one ball of a pink one and I started to knit sock with a green one, but I realized how gorgeous this yarn is. So I decided to save uh, this yarn for this color for garment. I'll just probably hold it with one strand of kid silk and knit myself a garment, but the pink one I used uh, for socks and I love it so much. Plus um, it took only like the socks for my uh, seven and a half foot, uh, took 50 grams so I can make another pair from a leftover bowl. So, and after I knit garment, maybe if I have some leftover green color, color, uh, greenish color, then I'll knit myself another pair of socks. It just like if you, if you meet this yarn somewhere at the yarn store, try buy it and knit yourself socks and check it out because it's amazing. Like, I don't know, I just love it. And this color uh, looks really great in fabric. So that's a yarn recommendation that I wanted to make. Let's start with my finished object. So my first finished object is on me. It's a cardigan that I knitted, like it has only two buttons and I was knitting it like whole thing together, except I picked up for sleeves. And I used for this cardigan, five balls of this gorgeous yarn. It's Jody Lawn Glam Gaze and it has 53% alpaca, 22% mohair, 14% uh, polyester and 11% metallic. And it's in, 100, in 50 grams, 100 meters. I got this yarn on my birthday in February and right away so I decided to knit myself a cardigan because I love this yarn so much. So that's how it looks and I like it so much with dress or high-waisted jeans 
I don't know, it just looks so good and I was wearing it already quite a bit because I finished it um, a while ago and I like how, how it, I like it how it looks. I like that it's so soft and squishy and so comforting and I like the length. So five, five balls were exactly perfect amount for me and I usually wear size small. So if I would have six balls then it would be just a bit longer here. Okay, so my second finished object is this gorgeous hat. I needed this hat um, out of three types of yarn. So one strand was uh, kid silk from Drops and it was pink color. I don't remember the color, but it was from, uh, I had some leftovers from my love note. Um, so in previous episodes, you probably can see. And I don't know, I just still have 10 more grams left of this kit silk. So I had five balls I used, I needed love note sweater, I needed a hat and I still have 10 more grams left <laughs> of this kit silk that I can use somewhere. Then I was holding one strand of metallic from Hobby. So it just gives a little, little sheen to it. And then I was using um, a tweed also from Hobby. It's recycled yarn. I think it's 30% uh, wool merino wool and 30% viscose and it's like really nice soft luxurious yarn and it gave a really nice hat I think by the time I will uh, work um, put together this video I'm sure I'll have pictures of this hat on my head and I'll insert some pictures because now it's still a bit wet and I don't want to stretch it like you know to put it on so and my next finished object spare socks out of this gorgeous yarn this yarn is alize comfort socks and the colorways that i used it's 2698 and i used this yarn i knitted out of this yarn for the first time but i heard a lot of this yarn it's made in turkey and i don't know if it's sold in canada but one of my friends from germany she knew that i wanted to try this sock yarn and she sent it me uh, two balls one ball with this beautiful color work um, color and second ball was just a, a rose pink like very gentle baby pink and so I decided to try uh, to knit out of this yarn first this color and after washing this yarn bloomed and it's so soft it just feels like it's not wool with polyamide it feels like it's wool with viscose <laughs> it just I don't know it just makes me so happy I, I'm so glad that I tried this yarn I I'm glad that I can, like, you know, I tried it. Um, one thing is when you hear reviews about this yarn and second thing, like when you actually knit it out of it. So that was a lot of fun to try. So my other finished objects that I have lots this month, I don't have it here with me, but I will insert you short videos or pictures of my finished object. So I first I finished uh, socks out of Angora for yarn and they were size 7 and they weigh 75 grams. Uh, then I finished orange socks and also curry color socks. So orange ones were for size 11, women's food, so and they were 88 grams. I don't know, just maybe somebody needs these numbers. And the um, curry ones, they were 82 grams, even though they were one size smaller. Then I finished black socks, also out of Angora Mink for yarn, and they were size 7 and they were 77 grams. And also I finished white mittens and they were 55 grams. And in the end, last ones, I finished another pair of white socks, also size seven, but interestingly, they were, instead of 75 grams, they were 70 grams. And I don't know what it depends on, but with this yarn, I find like, you know, from color to color, it's um, sometimes it's a little bit heavier, sometimes it's softer, sometimes it's prickly, sometimes it's very soft. So I don't know what it depends on, but they all like, it depends on the color even fluffiness varies so i don't know but they all very pleasant to the touch and fun to work with so and i also have one more finished object but it's also garment and i would like to go change and show you my next finished object on me 
and also I can just continue talking about all my VIPs in my next garden. So you enjoyed this one already. And now you will enjoy my second finished garment in this video. Friends, and another finished garment uh, this time, it's this cashmere sweater uh, that I was knitting out of this uh, cashmere yarn on cone. And I used uh, like this sweater weighs only 194 grams. Uh, but I think I used up to 150 grams, but after washing, it became um, lighter, maybe uh, there was some oils or whatever in this yarn that washed off and now it's only like we can say 200 grams so i like how it fits i expected the fabric to be a little bit different because i needed from cashmere before only this um bread and um this yarn was from balls and i can definitely still say that uh, quality is different and I thought that my sweater would look something like this, but it's a bit um, softer. It doesn't, ho doesn't hold structure as much, but still very soft, very like reminds me a bit uh, soft donical tweed, but just not merino wool, but cashmere. So, and also I had a few random balls of yarn from Lion brand. It's wool is, it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool and it's 140 grams and 80 meters and i knitted them and i turned them <laughs> two balls into headbands like this <laughs> looks pretty cool i think and so they look like this and i'll insert pictures so you can see how it looks on me so brown ones uh, just one color and this other color changes So now I have six headbands uh, and I'll need the last ball. I'll also turn into headbands and I think I have a few more balls. So, but I'm planning in near future to work on it. And then it's great for gifts or for markets, for craft markets or from anything else you want to use it for. And now we will move into VIP section, what I have. So my first project that I have on my needles, it's from this yarn that I had left over. I just showed you my pink hat that I finished and it's woody tweed from Hobby. It's 100% recycled fi fibers and it's in 100 grams, 350 meters and it's 70% wool and 30% viscose and all of those fibers are recycled and I decided to knit kind of like a Sophie scarf but I'm just um, started a little bit different because I wanted round edge and also I do my own stitch count so it would be just basically a very narrow scarf that you can just uh, use in spring and I don't know yet how long and how wide it would be but so far it's been fun knitting it and i'm using 4.5 millimeter needles for it and where you see stitch markers that's where i added a stitch so that's my project number one <laughs> project number two is half and half wrap by pearl soha it's a free pattern i'm knitting it out of this yarn from knit Peaks, which called elixir and it's fingering weight yarn colorway hibicus and here we have 100 in one in 50 grams 164 yards and it's 45 percent alpaca 35 percent merino wool and 20 percent um, linen <laughs> so and here i just finished one ball of yarn and just attached second ball and i'd like to show you how much it gave me so now i have my shawl is much bigger and this corner here also you can see <laughs> so much bigger so now i started second ball and we'll see how much fabric second ball gives me so i have four all together and i'm really hoping that it would be enough for one triangle my third project that i'm working on it's uh, socks out of this christmas uh, christmas sock wool glitter yarn from hobby 
I really wanted to try this yarn and I got it like this here and I showed you already I have one sock that was done already quite, quite a while ago I don't know if you can see and I'm working on my second sock that's how yarn looks like and I started to do increases for heel already so basically I have to finish my foot and then this project should be done and when it would be done i'll block them wash them and i'll put them on my shelf and i'll wear them in the end of this year when christmas season comes but for now i just need to finish them because um they're kind of my christmas socks for christmas which was in 2022. my next work in progress <laughs> It's a project that I started a long time ago, I think more than a year ago. Uh, I was gifted uh, this beautiful cashmere yarn by, by Todd and Duncan, and it's very fine uh, thread. And I had uh, 167 grams of this yarn, and I knitted up already more than 100 grams, and I have 60 grams left. I'm knitting, uh, holding this yarn double. And this project was hibernating, so it's a bit wrinkled. But after I picked it up now, I knitted already uh, this much, and I'm knitting it on 3.5 millimeter needles. And yarn is really fine, so it goes very slowly. But I think this top would be really nice to wear in spring. So I'm really eager to finish it. So here I'll basically knit down until my yarn is gone and in the end maybe i'll do a few rows of ribbing like i did on a slip and then i'll close it and then i'll block it and it will look so much better <laughs> my next project that i'm working on it's also it was also hibernating <laughs> for a couple of months so and i'm knitting this project uh holding three strands double so blue one it just um a wool uh, one ply wool from cone uh, this colorful yarn it's a mink fur yarn and it has a nylon strand so i'm holding those three strands together and i'm knitting on seven millimeter needles this gorgeous uh, pullover it has a folded neck it has long sleeves twisted rib ribbing and here and then it has uh, round yoke with a little bit uh, raglan increases so i didn't use pattern uh, for this sweater i'm just freestyling and here as you can see also i have only uh, stocking that stitch that i need to i have to knit down down and when length is right just do ribbing close it wash it and wear it and i think it would be really nice uh, spring sweater nice color like a little cloud i think i'll really enjoy it. and i like as you know i had a lot of pattern uh, projects that were hibernating i started a shawl using kid silk uh, in this lighter colorway and chocolatey colorway and i started to knit from corner it's also all wrinkled because it was in a bag for quite a while i think i sp started to knit it like last summer and that's how far I got and then for some reason I stopped and now again spring is coming and I feel like I really want to have this soft light shawl that actually go like this so I took it out and I started to work on it hopefully it will be done soon as well I almost thought uh, that in this video you won't see any yarn inquiries but <laughs> I went to the secondhand store and I saw their big bag of this gorgeous yellow yarn. Remember previous episode I was filming in a bright sunny yellow ranunculus uh, cotton t-shirt and I realized that I don't have any sweaters in this bright yellow color. So uh, this yarn is uh, Lady Gold 
Croy and it's a yarn for socks or for sweaters and here 85% wool and 15% nylon and each ball has only 28 grams but I tried to weigh this yarn and it's actually uh, about 30 grams each ball but for me I felt like this uh, color just a bit too bright so I looked through my stash and I found this beautiful kid silk it's from uh, Rika Design Essentials, uh, Super Kid Mohair and Silk. And here we have 70% Mohair and 30% Silk. So, and I started to knit sweater number 14. And I'm holding uh, this yellow wool yarn double and one strand of kid silk. And here I'll see you. My, uh, show you my small progress that I've done so far and look at this gorgeous fabric that it creates I think it's very beautiful and it would look really nice like in a big oversized cozy sweater in this beautiful sunny colorway I think it would be very beautiful <laughs> so and I have enough yarn I'm sure I have enough yarn for big oversized sweater and it's 6.5 millimeter needles, so I hope it will go very fast. And it's my last work in progress. Of course, I have yet pillowcase that I'm working on, but it's just a big <laughs> rectangle and I still have, I think, 20 rows to go. So I won't show it to you because it's like just a plain stockinette stitch. And when I'll do more progress or finish it, then I'll show it to you because then it will make more sense to show. And yet I had some yarn inquiries. So I will show you just closer to the table. I'll show you a few cones of wool yarn that I got. And then we will go and I'll show you my progress in spinning. So I would like to show you my cones that I got. Uh, they, they all uh, $5.99. And this cone is very interesting. It has like some speckles of yarn and it feels like it's wool with viscose or wool with something fluffy, I don't know, but it feels really good and much softer than other cones. Uh, next three colors, they kind of see same structure, same wool. See, it has like some blues and some purple and violets kind of color is very, very gated. And I think this yarn is, or is it, or it's super soft from null, or maybe it's a British wool from yarn to cone. That's what it reminds me of, but it doesn't have any text, so I don't really know. And then I have two cones of this beautiful blue color, also has light blue speckles and also it's kind of like variegated color, but very, very beautiful. So I have two cones and here I have bag of four cakes of this beautiful light purple color. Also very nice, uh, gorgeous wool. And these cones are very interesting because it's kind of like um, plied yarn. Oh, I thought it's chain, but it's actually strands. Okay, but it looks like chain in here. Okay, and I have two cones like that as well. And this one is definitely wool. Um, kind of a little bit reminds like a rustic wool, but I'm not sure. So I have two cones and it would be for sure enough for a cardigan. So that's my yarn inquiries that I got from secondhand store. And I'm super happy with them because it, give, it will give me four different garments or one, two, three, four, five, five even. <laughs> okay, I was glad to share with you. And let's look at my okay, spinning. Okay, and now it's our third part. Let's talk about spinning. And I know that furnaces just went on, so you might hear some background noise, but I hope it's not too loud. I tried to cover all the registers so it's not as loud. 
as usual <laughs> but it's winter so what can you do so about spinning uh, do you remember last time in last episode I showed you that I got uh, for my birthday a gift this gorgeous gorgeous fleece that's made is in England and I think it's sold by Wooly Wools and it's 80% merino wool with 20% of nylon uh, almost like nylon hair and they're like rainbow so and I was able to spin 50 grams of yarn I divided 100 grams into 250 ball, gram balls and I showed you last time that I spun already 50 grams and now second 50 grams are spun and now it's ready to be spun together into two ply yarn but I, I couldn't do it because my spindle was <laughs> taken by this merino wool so merino wool <clears throat> i'm just putting that uh you probably remember also from last episode i spun 100 grams of hand dyed merino wool and then i decided to do it also to ply yarn and i decided second strand would be just white merino nylon wool so i did spin 25 grams and then i was spinning second 25 grams but <laughs> so i couldn't uh, ply yarn before i empty this bigger spindle because uh, this one is bigger and i think it should be enough to uh, wind on it to ply 100 grams yarn strand so and if i do it successfully <laughs> next time i hope when we see each other i will show you a skein of hand spun <laughs> yarn from which i will knit something so i hope you will see it next time when we see each other and it works out and I don't mess it up because I'm a bit nervous about this process because I didn't try it before, but <laughs> let's hope that it works. So that's, that's it. That's all my knitting news for this episode. I was super happy to see you, super happy to talk to you. Please uh, put like for this video and leave a comment and tell me if you tried spinning or not and if you did then tell me your level are you just a beginner or you're advanced would be really nice to hear and see where you are at so i wish you a beautiful spring spring is not here in manitoba yet but i hope it will come one day because it's all covered in snow and ice <sighs> but it's getting warmer and days are longer so soon spring will come here too okay bye <laughs>